Jay. Nice to meet you. No, no tie, no jacket, no. You just show up like you're like you're going to a frat party. I or something. I wouldn't say frat party. Well, I, just, I don't normally dress up, so I apologize. Okay. Well, you don't normally get a job either when you're not dressed accordingly. Okay. All right, um, Todd. It says here you want to be called Mr. Todd. Mr. Todd. Is that correct? Sure, yeah. Okay, Mr. Todd. What exactly is it that you do? What is, uh, what is Mr. Todd's thing? What, what makes things work when you're doing it? Uh, I do all the audio video production for audio, the show. Audio video production. Yeah. Um, and did you go to school for that? Yeah, I went to went Western Carolina for a couple of years and then went to Carolina School of Broadcasting, which no longer exists. <laughs> yeah, I know. So then we can't, you're saying that there's no way to check up to know if you're lying or not if you actually went to Carolina School of Broadcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah. how convenient. Yeah. Like, you know, dead witnesses can't testify, am I right? Is that what you're going with? Okay. Yes. All right. Um, so you went to two schools. Mm-hmm. And uh, you run the vi all video things. Mm -hmm. right? your, your cooking show, Ace's shows, yeah. um, the live show. Who's who's the video in this? If you're sitting here talking to me, I set the camera up and then walked around. Okay, so you can actually set it up to do what you do without you having to be there. N not really. So what is what is the need for you? If we can just put cameras and set them, and you know, what, well, there's a lot of settings and stuff. You're, on you're the more camera. of a middleman, kind of punching buttons here or there. Yeah, but there's a lot of buttons and settings and stuff that you need to know, and mics and mm -hmm. levels and yeah, shot framing. Doesn't seem like people would have to go to two schools to learn that, though. I mean, mm. you can just set up the cameras, walk yeah. away from them, kind of put them on autopilot. It, Did you pay tuition to both of those schools? Yeah, you, yeah. Wow. I know. So I see here that you're not a good decision maker, obviously. I wouldn't. If you would go to two schools and pay for it <laughs> to do something that, you know, any new dad can do, walking around, hey, look, see the camera, huh? But anyway, glad you're here. Thanks. And um, what, what kind of uh, hobbies do you have? That might be interesting. Uh, play tennis. Mm, uh, I used to do Spartan races. Spartan races. Yeah. Obstacle what races. What exactly is that? Obstacle races and mud and miles and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Do you do anything that adults do? Like if you're playing in the mud? <laughs> um, well, tennis is an adult sport. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, I used to ride motorcycles. Don't do that anymore. Okay. You you have a motorcycle. Uh, no. Correct. I don't. You don't? No. Oh. And this is about you, not me. Okay. Sorry. Um, so you're in pretty good shape physically. You're good physical. Mm, I guess. Shape. Not as much as I used to be. Mm -hmm. since the you look like it to me. What is your body fat percentage? Because <laughs> we may have you carrying some heavy cameras, you know? I have what no, do you think? I have no uh, idea. Say 30? Yeah, Maybe let's thirty go with percent that. body let's fat. Go with that. Yeah. Do you consider yourself an artist? Storyteller. We, you're a storyteller. Yeah. So you talk to the camera, like while no, you're no, like no, like telling the story, like just somebody has an idea and I help bring it to life and tell the story. And but isn't the person that's talking to the camera the storyteller? Yeah, but music and edits and drone shots and things like that can help make the story more in the moment, make people feel what is going on in that moment. So you shoot people with drones, like the military? Yeah. No, no, we just do aerial shots, like video shots. Aerial shots. Yeah, okay. with the drones. Kind of like a, I want to be where the people are. Like, like the little mermaid aerial shots. No. Doing <laughs> I was like, where are you going? Aerial and um, like a, just swooping down. 
those annoying things that go bzzz, Yeah, and that part, yeah. I don't know okay. about the little mermaid. So connection. you basically, you again, we're back to the childlike behavior of playing with remote control airplanes. Is that pretty much what you do? I'm just trying to, I, I I'm just trying to bottom line it here. I don't see it that way, but if you see it that way, right. I, I don't want to by any means argue with you about so it. So you got two different degrees in fly, and you can fly remote control airplanes and take home movies, videos, right? Uh, is, that, is that about sum it up? Oh, and you're in good shape. Um, you're a strong man. Sure, sure. With nice hair. Thank you. Okay. And what do you want to do with this new company? Continue to grow the video presence and really help you know bring advertisers on board. How are you going to do that? By doing really amazing commercials featuring yeah. you and Ace. Okay. And you're going to go and you talk to people and say advertise. You're like a salesperson, no, like a that's, promotion person. That's, I think that was somebody else's oh. interview job. Okay, let me see if I got it. So we grow the advertising and we grow the uh, revenue uh -huh. by the stories you tell on your little home movies. <laughs> All right? Uh, sure. That's as good a plan as I've heard today. So welcome aboard. Well, thank you. I, that, whew, good. Mm -hmm.